Hello everyone, I am Neharika and welcome back to a new lesson. Well, there are times when we are not quite sure or we don't understand or we are a little confused when someone says something. So what do you do then? You ask for clarification. And how do you do that? Well, that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to look at different ways to ask for clarification or times when you really don't understand or you didn't get what the person just said. So that's what we're going to learn. Now, most of the times people end up saying, what? Okay, maybe the person just murmured and you didn't understand what he said. So the immediate reaction would be, what? Okay, what now? So that is quite rude and harsh, right? So rather than saying, what? Use these phrases. Well, let's get started. The first one and the most common one is, sorry. Okay, now you use the word sorry to apologize, right? But why is the sorry here? Well, you need to put it like a question. So here when you say sorry, so it's more like a question and probably you're asking that person to repeat himself. So maybe you are at the supermarket and the person at the counter said something which you didn't really understand. So again, you don't say what, okay, that's rude. You can use the phrase sorry, okay, and that should be with the question mark, like sorry. So you use this in a very informal way or informal situations. So probably you're at the supermarket or you're just ordering for your pizza or maybe you are ordering at some fast food center and you didn't understand what the person just said, so you ask for clarification or you ask him to repeat himself by using this phrase. Another one, come again. So come again is another way of asking that could you please repeat yourself, okay? So again, this phrase can be used in a very informal situation. So maybe you are with your friends, hanging out, having a cup of coffee with your friends and your friend just mentioned something which you really didn't understand. So you would say, hey, come again. Okay, so you have to watch your tone as well. So don't say what, you're going to say come again. That would be a little better way of asking for clarification. Another one. I beg your pardon. Now, I beg your pardon uh, is a very polite phrase used by people in the corporate world. So maybe you are in a meeting with your clients or you are on a conference call. And of course, you know, at times uh, when you are on a conference call, the line is not clear, uh, the voice is breaking and you are unable to hear that person clearly. So there are times when you have to ask that person to repeat himself, right? So how do you do that in the business world? Well, the right phrase to use is, I beg your pardon, okay? So probably you didn't understand what that person just said, so you want him or her to repeat. So you're gonna say, I beg your pardon. Another one that you can use is, could you say that again, please? Again, you can use this phrase in very formal situations. Uh, you are asking someone to repeat, so you are being straightforward. But when you add the word please, it adds to that extra element of politeness, right? So rather than just saying, could you say that again? <clears throat> add that please. So you sound very polite and make sure you watch your tone. It should go this way. Could you say that again, please? Okay, be nice. You don't have to be rude just because you didn't understand that person. So be nice and use this phrase. Let's have a look at another one. I didn't quite catch that. Could you repeat it? Maybe you can add 
please here as well. Okay, just to be nice, just to be polite. So I didn't quite catch that. So maybe that person said something, okay, and you didn't understand, you're confused, and you're not sure if you got it right. So you can ask him to repeat it by using the phrase, I didn't quite catch that. Could you repeat it, please? Right? Got it? Now let's have a look at another one. Could you illustrate? Now, you know, when you are in meetings or when you're talking uh, with someone or discussing something about a big project and maybe you are not able to understand or sequence the ideas what that other person is explaining you. And maybe, you know, you need examples or you want them to explain it in a better way. So you're not going to say, I didn't understand what are you saying. I just don't get it. That's going to be rude. You can't talk to your uh, bosses or you cannot talk to your colleagues in this way. It's rude, right? So probably to understand their idea in a better way, maybe you want them to explain it in a better way. So how do you do that? Well, you can say, could you illustrate? Okay, so if your boss is trying to explain you something and you're not able to match up to his pace or you're not able to match up with his idea, so you're going to ask for illustration. So you're going to ask for um, explanations. So the best way to do that, use this phrase, could you illustrate? Okay, could you illustrate it further? Or you can use the word explain as well. Could you explain it further? Right? And then the last one is pretty much similar to the one here. Could you give an example? So again, maybe someone is trying to explain you something. Or even if uh, you are ordering for food, you're at a restaurant and you're ordering for food and the waiter just goes on and on, say something that, okay, this is how it's cooked and you don't really understand. So you ask him to explain it to you further or give an example. So this is the way you would ask for. Could you give an example? Or again, when you're sitting with your colleagues or your team members and probably you do not understand what they're trying to tell you and you want it to be explained in a better way with examples, then ask for it. Either you can say, could you illustrate? Or you can say, could you give an example? All right. So these are the phrases that you can use instead of saying what? Okay, so go ahead, use them, and I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care. Hello everyone, I am Neharika and welcome back to a new lesson. Well, in today's lesson, we are going to learn how to ask your boss for a promotion or for an increment. Now we all work really hard to either get promoted or to get a good raise in our salaries. So how do you really approach your boss to either get promoted or to get a raise? Well that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. So before we go ahead and approach our bosses for a promotion or for an increment, let's just do some homework today. Welcome everyone, I am Neharika and in today's lesson we are going to look at some things to avoid while learning English. Now I have observed many English learners do certain things that kind of hurt their progress. Well, in this lesson you're going to look at some points that you really need to avoid if you want to be fluent in English. The very first thing, don't be ashamed to speak up. Well, that's what happens. You know, many of my English students, well, the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, I'm too embarrassed, I'm too shy. Well, if you say this, that's it. You are not going to learn to speak confidently. If you are ashamed of speaking in English, what's the point? How are you going to achieve your goal? So 
No worries if you are not great in your vocabulary. You don't have to worry if you...